Time now for your forewarned weather. Well, good evening. I'm meteorologist Tina Friedman with your forecast. Another hot day with a lot of wind as well. Pretty nice here up at Alta. There's a nice view, a high rustler right there. Gorgeous afternoon and temperatures are a little bit cooler up there. So that's always a nice change too, but it is still very much above average. 91 degrees now in Heber City. It's still 99 in Salt Lake. We did hit about 100 degrees earlier today and it's still 93 in Cedar City. So a windy day, a hot day. Some of the wind gusts that we have around have have exceeded 30 to 40 miles per hour throughout the afternoon. Wind gusts currently at 28 miles per hour here in Salt Lake City and 39 miles per hour in Cedar City. We've got a cold front just slowly pushing its way in. So ahead of that, our winds are strong and out of the south and west. So that's prompted that fire weather warning that we have, a red flag warning is what it's called. So we've got gusty winds around, could have gusts as high as 35 to 40 miles per hour in really dry conditions. Now, the whole state is not under the warning, of course, but it's still dry and hot and prime time weather conditions for fires everywhere across the state. Currently, it's 99 here in Salt Lake City, 95 in Provo. We're at 97 in Moab. Nice day for St. George. 105, nice and hot, depending on how you like it. Here's some of the high temperatures so far today. We did hit 100 degrees in Green River, 106 in St. George, and 97 in Delta, which begs the question because today, after all, is June 30th, so the end of the month, so we want to know what was the deal. We did hit 100 degrees here at the airport today. So how it shakes up in June is we actually had 18 days at equal to or above 90 degrees degrees. Now we typically have about seven of those. So that definitely was above average, but it wasn't near some of the records that we have at, at all. So it was definitely warm though. Uh, we had four days at 100 degrees equal to or above, and that's for the month of June, which typically averages one day at 100 or above, so way too hot. And then our average summer, we typically have, climatologically speaking, four days at 100 degrees or above. We've already hit the four. So uh, I don't I hope it's not a premonition of what's to come, but we're off to a running hot start here at the beginning of our summertime season. The radar today, not too much relief here, mostly sunny conditions with a few isolated showers around. There's that cold front that's going to go through tonight. Now we'll see some isolated showers along the Utah-Idaho border, so Cache County and over to Bear Lake. Don't be surprised tonight to hear a rumble of thunder. I wouldn't expect that to put down a whole lot of rain. It's really dry out there. We'll see another chance for some isolated showers again along the border tomorrow afternoon and across across eastern Utah, but most places are going to remain dry. We still have that flood watch, though, for southeastern Utah, and that goes through tomorrow afternoon for areas that are prone to some runoff flash flooding. Now, tomorrow will be cooler, 87 degrees and much cooler in the morning. Today, we were only at about 76, 74 degrees this morning, really hot. So tomorrow, it'll be a little cooler than that, so that'll feel really good. Up to 85 tomorrow in Ogden. In Park City, beautiful day on a Monday, only 76 pick Picture perfect. So we definitely have a nice day across southern Utah with temperatures mainly in the 80s and still pretty warm in southern Utah with a high of 102 in St. George. So just a little bit cooler, which is what we want to see. In St. George, it's going to be a warm week, though. We've got you above 100 degrees just about every day and 107 later in the week. That's for the 4th of July. Good stuff. And this looks much better than it has been. So 80s for a couple of days and then hovering at about 90. So just kind of dry is, is the big story. We could use some rain, but it is getting into July here and typically we don't have a lot of moisture that time. Yeah, of hot temperatures.